Welcome back. Let's start with the definition, what is a vector? But before that, there is an essential concept on mathematics and physics we must be familiar with. Do you know what is a scalar? A scalar is a quantity which is completely defined by a certain number without any mention of direction in space. As an example of scalars from our everyday life is time, measurement, temperature, energy, mass, and speed. The number that describes the scalar quantity is called the magnitude. For example, when we say the mass is 6 kilograms, we are describing the amount of mass. All the basic arithmetical laws like addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction are working on scalars. Okay, let's move to the next definition, the reason you are taking this course, <laughs> the vector. A vector is a quantity which is completely defined only when both their magnitude and direction are specified. This means that in order to identify a quantity as a vector, the quantity must have both magnitude and direction. For example, there is no direction for mass or time. It's meaningless to say that my mass is 7 kilograms and 40 degrees. It doesn't make a sense. Here are some examples of vectors from physics. The force, the momentum, the magnetic field, the torque, the electric field, the velocity. Velocity and speed are not the same. Velocity is the speed in with a direction, while speed doesn't have any direction. The arithmetical operators are not working well with vectors. But don't worry, we will cover all the vector algebra and the various definitions for vectors. There are two fundamental quantities in our world. With them, we can describe things we use in everyday life. But I say two fundamentals and not the two because there is another quantity in our world that is neither scalar nor a vector. It's called a tensor. But don't worry, this is out of the scope of this course. Now you are familiar with scalar and vectors and the, and the difference between them. Let's find out how to deal with vectors. See you at the next one.